Bharti Gokhale. She is the director of Dynamic Train Engineers Private Limited Pune. In the year 2000, she started her venture Dynamic Engineers. She has been instrumental in making strategic decisions that have brought the company to the forefront in the material handling and equipment industry. She has worked as a bridge to connect people, machines, and the business ecosystem. She will speak on the importance of access plat. So, delegates, let's welcome Miss Bharati Gopal. My company name is Dynamic Crane Engineers, and we are here to make work safe and easy. We are also into cranes. and we are into aerial platforms for cranes we don't provide crane but we provide some products for cranes so today's topic importance of awp opportunities and challenges we are uh, into business from last 20 years in this aerial platform last 14 years we are into this, this business so what is this access business all about and how dynamic is connected with it we are pioneer in aerial platform rental business so we were the first company to start rental of aerial platforms we started in year 2007 with three machines and slowly we built our fleet very very shortly we reached to 50 then 100 then 150 and uh, we we were working in south western part south south zone everywhere we were working and it was uh, since 2007 we are into rental of access platforms uh, how we started so see we had experience in crane rental industry so when we started this uh, aerial platform rental uh, we are not into crane rentals so when we uh, we were exploring something different uh, product we came across this aerial platform and we visited many developed countries and the yards so what our emphasis was on facilities team and training so first thing we we did was after starting our rental business we uh, developed our yard Uh, which is state of art facility uh, and then we uh, focused on team building and the training uh, i would i would like to sh- share a very interesting story last one there was excon so we visited there and we we tried to meet we, we were we had a meeting with uh, national skill development for operator training program so there one of the senior members mentioned that contribution of dynamic is in this industry that almost 90% of technical team in this industry is ex dynamic so this is this is what we have done our contribution to industry we we emphasize a lot on training of people so we had people from germany france the usa coming here and training our people because this equipment was new and nobody knew about it access business we sell the machines we rent the machines and we maintain the machines so these all three aspects of aerial platform we uh, take care of the selling the machines uh, jcb has started manufacturing under the atmanirbhar bharat uh, they have started manufacturing uh, access platforms in india and they were till uh, till last year they were exporting in more than 100 plus countries from this year they have started selling these machines in india and we are fortunate to have become their first dealer uh, at uh, so they are manufacturing these machines in the jaipur plant it's a state of art as jcb is famous for its uh, workmanship these machines are beautiful machines manufactured by them and we are happy to be associated with them so these are the scissor lifts of jcb and we also sell uh, machines from our fleet or at times we also import and sell the used machine these are pre owned machines which we sell so we are also selling new machine as well as pre owned machines this is jcb machines uh, at the moment we are uh, we are we have come up with uh, scissor lifts there are eight models of scissor lifts and very soon uh, boom lifts are going to come so from 8 meter to 16 meter all our battery scissors and application of scissors i think uh, it is covered in soma's presentation so i'll not repeat what are the applications of uh, these machines our rental business we rent uh, boom lifts we rent scissor lifts and we also rent uh, construction lifts that is man and material uh, lifts used for uh, construction industry civil construction let me talk about our refurbishment we we have got our workshop where we can refurbish the machines you can see the left side is before picture and right side is after picture this is 45 ha machine very old machine it was working in kion's facility kion's pune facility and uh, we refurbished it completely uh, we had uh, we, uh, we had also refurbished one falcon machine and few other jlg machines so we have this know how and capacity and uh, facility to refurbish these machines because as the machine will find uh, more and more uh, usage the old machine will we can reuse those old machines with proper uh, 
uh, refurbishment with uh, original spare parts now i would like to discuss the challenges of uh, this business i'm talking from not from the uh, see i have got experience of this industry from as a rental uh, rental provider also and as a seller also so there are few challenges which this industry is facing one of them is there is always people think whether they have to rent or they have to buy now rental industry definitely they are going to buy because their business is to rent the machine so they need to have these machines in their fleet but this decision is difficult for people who are user of this machine so end users or the contractors may so basically end users whether they have to rent or buy this machine so what is the confusion this decision is based on a uh, few factors so i'm going to discuss those factors what are the uh, parameters that one has to uh, base his, his or her decision on so one is what is the purpose of these machines why you are buying this machine so there can be either for own use or it can be for your giving uh, if you are a contractor so you are using it for somebody else's project or you are giving out on rent so what is the purpose of this uh, buy that we have to, that is one of the parameter to uh, decide whether you want to go for rent or you want to buy the machine second is finance availability you can have own finance or bank finance nvnc finance then you have to decide what is the margin what is the collateral collateral you are going to give for this machine finance availability then your cash flow so how much is the emi is going to come what is your revenue model the revenue is monthly or weekly or how you are going to get revenue and how this finance will be serviced so finance availability is another decision one has to make while while buying or renting the machine then technical strength once you buy the machine see your core competency may not be maintaining these machines if you buy new machine, Machine definitely will get warranty, extended warranty. But once the warranty is uh, over, then you have to think how you are going to manage your fleet of machines. You should have technical strength. Uh, then you should have spare part availability. You should have area of operation. You should have those operators should be trained. So these are the decisions. Technical or depending on technical strength of your company, you have to decide whether you are going to rent or you are going to buy the machine. Then fourth point is project duration. So project, if you are going to amortize this machine on only on one project, the physically the finance the finance may not be visible. So you have to think that how you are going to amortize this machine on how many projects, what is duration of each project, then idle period between the two projects, projects in pipeline, and usability of this equipment in different projects. For example, say you are buying a 60 feet machine, considering this project, but next project may need 80 feet machine or 120 feet machine. So how you going to utilize the machines in your different projects? That also that planning has to be done. Then how it should look into your balance sheet. So whether your company is uh, asset heavy, or heavy or asset light, do you want to take depreciation? What is the life of machine you are buying? Or uh, what is your uh, present asset block? then is there any uh, loss due to depreciation because these machines are costly machines so it it will take a bigger chunk in uh, in your uh, pnl so you have to decide whether uh, how it will look in your balance sheet then availability of equipment when you are buying the equipment maybe the availability is in weeks or months so uh, you have to consider uh, when the new equipment is going to arrive then what is the company uh, policy some companies may not buy old machines so they will be going for new machines and new machine will be then the the delivery period pre own machines their condition we have to consider so availability and quality of machine is major factor when you are deciding about buying the machine or renting the machine our observations till date we have what we have observed is when you are going for new project mostly those projects are completed using rental machines and those project uh, the end user or the principal contractor they take machines on rent while project is being constructed and if uh, project is already executed and the factory or building is already in place then they buy new but new are uh, they buy few and they rent many because rental is if you need uh, for some smaller duration you can go for rent or some different kind of machine you need you go for rent so this is today uh, in india major majority of machines are purchased by rental companies and that also majority of machines are pre pre owned machines so slowly people are going for younger machines and new machines so this is a positive change in this uh, one more thing we had come across when when we are renting the machine what happens there are say oh, one plant is under construction and there are five six contractors of different usage like there is hvac contractor or there is an electrical contractor or there is one firefighting contractor and everybody needs their 
boom lifts or uh, scissor lifts so in earlier days in 2007 8 9 we were talking to each and every uh, principal contractor and the end user about having one contractor as aerial platform provider so along with your all other uh, facility and uh, main contractors like civil contractors and others you should have one contractor who is uh, one or two uh, persons who are who are providing all the machines required by different contractors but it did not happen because it needed i think it was not uh, it needed lot of work to be done from the principal contractor or the end user so it did not pick up and now every contractor is taking their own machines either they are renting or they are having their own machines and they taking for the projects now access business has one more challenge that is operator so they have to recruit operators they have to train their operators and they have to manage their operators so a recruitment today what methods are used it's word of mouth basically conventional way is that operators know each other and whenever we need operator we tell that is the conventional way in india people are using now slowly some aggregators are coming and they have enrolled uh, they have got some application or some platform where they are enrolling operators then second comes training for training now uh, aerial platform owners association has started training program for these operators and it is i think it is doing uh, it is going to do well and uh, they will be adding uh, more training programs into their schedule and coming to management now what happens is the operator is uh, front end of your company he is client facing every day he is uh, he is at site and he is facing the uh, client and he is the person who is using your lakhs of rupees of machine but in in the chain he is the last person so if anybody has uh, what do you say operator communication is a big challenge that we have faced so we have tried to come up with a one solution uh, we have developed an app which it is called as lockstop it is in beta stage and lockstop is all the logs stop here like bus stop it is a lockstop for all the, um, the things which which are generated at site so operator is generating or generating all the data at site and on on the basis of that data on that log sheet we prepare our invoice so for rental companies log sheet is a very uh, important document because on basis of that he is earning his revenue so this is a very simple uh, application which is having only eight buttons it is having a uh, check in check out log in log out then operator needs to contact his office for four five things one thing is he needs funds at site for different purpose then he needs uh, leave many times what happens the operator has called a supervisor and asked for leave and uh, a supervisor had, has forgotten to uh, note down somewhere and when uh, he goes on leave and there is a problem at site maybe during shutdown or something we and we have faced these we are we have case studies of these problems then uh, there is there is problem in the machine so machine is working but working with some problems say some leakage is there some noise is there some or some part is getting heated or something of that sort and if you are not resolving that problem within time it may uh, lead into breakdown so one more button is there for uh, uh, what is say notifying breakdown and last is leads there are many leads generally people ask operator only ki do machine aur hai kya mujhe chahiye do machine so lead comes to operator first but today that lead lead is getting lost because he will not tell it to some supervisor because supervisor will take credit of it so thinking these uh, problems which are what is it these problems are coming from our own pain points we are into rental from last 14 years so we know what problems the uh, this rental industry is facing so keeping that in uh, mind we have developed this application there is one more solution in the new machine there is load indicator for the safe load in the basket or the platform but for the older machine this is not it is not there so we have developed this b dash that is uh, it is a display uh, load indicator for boom lifts so this is our own product Uh, because we are into manufacturing of electronic uh, products for crane industry we we provide safe load indicators and wind safety indicators and all other products for crane industry so we have de- 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 devised the system for boom lifts as well welcome